you asked questions on Twitter, and I have them. I'm going to ask you the questions. If you could pick one celebrity to replace the other to host GMM with, who would it be and why? Okay, so I get a new person who's an actual celebrity to host the oh. show with me. Yeah. I'll take that. That's fine. Uh, I'd pick Robert Duvall. Ooh, that's a good one. What if we both just picked Robert Duvall no and reason. he just... <laughs> uh, I guess Joey Graceffa. Okay. That makes a little more sense, probably. Like, I'm just trying to... I'm because to, of the hair? Trying imagine. to bring in his audience and his hair and his use of jackets. Oh, it's also a marketing thing. It's, t it, yeah. I mean, we're friends, don't get me wrong. <laughs> Are you working on any secret projects at the moment? Uh, there is a secret project that we are very excited about. That That's going to be so very just, good. If we could pro if be happy with that. If you could all promise to keep it a secret, but I know some, somebody's going to leak it. <laughs> I know how you guys work. Somebody out there. I think we should just keep talking about how great it is, but not anything, give anything more than that. It's very personal. Um, it's very creative. <laughs> 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 yeah, um, we think you'll be excited. My grandma keeps coming in my room to use my TV, and she's always leaving her slippers. What should I do? I don't feel like picking them up. <laughs> <laughs> grandma coming in, using, how is she using the TV? She's probably turning it on and watching it. <laughs> okay. That's typically how I use it. <laughs> using the TV. Yeah. I, I've used it as like a step. A step. Oh, right, yeah, as well. Yeah. When do like you need to older, step up on an something? older TV to get to something extremely high? Wow. Yeah. You can't step on the new TVs. That's one of the reasons I don't like them. Too, they're the too flat thin. screen, right? You got to. It's just. So you oh. know that this is a box TV. What are the <laughs> you other? You just happen to know that. What are the other reasons that you don't like TVs? Uh, I, I don't like the shape. <laughs> I I think they should all be circles. <laughs> The TVs of the future will be will be an oval because that is actually a true representation of the visual field. The visual field is not a rectangle. <laughs> it is an oval. So 2040 TVs, they'll be like, somebody will be like, the new oval TV that matches your visual field perfectly. And you'll be like, I remember Rhett talked about that in 2019. You know, if you don't. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, a couple of couple of things about that. Yeah. Mm. One, um, if if you s situate yourself close enough to a television, right, um, you can have that experience now. Of course, you'll go blind in a, yeah, in a yeah, matter yeah, of yeah. days. But right. Um, uh, it's like sitting on the first row of an IMAX movie. You got it, brother. Yeah. Somebody's got to do it. <laughs> Never me though. Second point, um, the first television screens were. Arguably more circular than square. They were bulbous almost. They were bulbous. Yeah. We've regressed. What do we do about grandma? Oh. I think you I think you should take the slippers and just find grandma wherever she happens to be if she's not currently using your television and just go right up to her smack 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 in the face, put it right and say, Hey, don't you ever leave these in here again. You take your slippers. You take your slippers. Don't you bring them slippers in here. You smell these slippers? They're yours. Don't leave them. Okay. I think that would be effective. Because I did not enjoy that at all. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and I doubt that grandma would. Um, I'm not saying treat your grandma like a puppy dog or anything. But if you need to think of it that way to justify it, then do it. No, I love I love grandparents. <laughs> In general. Um, my my nana and my nanny, they're great people. I'd never do that to them. But though I did almost poke my nanny's eye out when I was a kid by accident. Hmm. Uh she had to wear an eye patch. No. <laughs> yeah, for a while. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing. I'm laughing <laughs> from embarrassment. <laughs> I felt horrible. I mean, you wanna feel horrible? Go visit your grandma. And then she's got an eye patch. And you're like, Grandma, why you got an eye patch? She's like, because you poked me in the eye last time you were here. You dumb toddler. I mean, I was a toddler. 
You dumb toddler. I also sat on the back of the like the top part of the couch. Like if this were a couch, I sat up here. I sat up here, and then I fell off um, and did a flip, and I hit my head on the coffee table oh, and it cracked that open. Oh, explains it. And I had to get stitches. And um, she still has that coffee table. Every time I go over there, I still see, I still see a little dent where my head hit it. <laughs> <laughs> my other grandma, uh, also, Nana, um, I was over there one day, and she was like, hey, let's, you want to build a fort? I'm like, let's build a fort. Yes, Nana. And so we go outside. Wait, wait, wait. You said the other day? No, other grandma. The other grandma. Oh, I thought you were like, this was you were over ago. there the other day, and no. she wanted to build a fort. Okay. No, I was probably uh, 20, eight, 28. Eight years old. <laughs> we were building a fort out there. She brought out a sheet, and then, you know, you got to string the sheet up, and then you got to get underneath it but so the sheet doesn't fall. You got to hold it up with some stuff. So she put a brick on the thing, and then we get under the fort, she and I'm... A, oh, she she weighed she down the brick. edge of the thing with a brick, and, you know, who knew that I would go crazy man. under the fort? Brick fell on my head. I had to go get stitches. <laughs> Both grandparents give So, I mean, I should have poked her out, too. <laughs> so you've, in a, in, a, in a span of just a few years, while your brain was developing, you fell on a coffee table, <laughs> and then a brick hit your head. Yeah. Why have you never told me this? Because it would have helped me deal with a lot of things. <laughs> I, I, would have, I would have had a lot more sympathy for you. Oh. Yeah. I'm going to have a lot of sympathy for this you is, for the second half of your life. This is a milestone moment, guys. The beginning of Rhett's sympathy for me. Yeah. Yeah. He can't help it. I, the brick uh, my nanny can see it. with both eyes. She fully recovered. Why don't we move on to another question? Okay. I think this person's name is a sob, but is a B sounds fun too. So is a, is a B at is a B underscore 2000. If you could pick one skill to become a pro at overnight, what would that skill be? Uh. And I'm going to add and why and why. You know how um, sometimes in movies people will just like be flying along in a car and then just suddenly slam on the brakes and whoosh, whip it right into a parking space. I'd do that. <laughs> You'd be a, a whipper parker. Yeah, yeah. And I, I would have no other stunt driving capabilities. It would just impressive parking. And that answers the question because I like to impress people. And I would want to impress people with my parking. That's good. That's a good one. You, you, speaking of movies, I had another answer, but... Um, okay, change it. When you said, you know how in movies, the first thing I thought for some reason you were going to say is um, when it's like a pivotal point in a movie where somebody needs to figure something out, um, and then there's like a close-up, could be a medium shot, but usually a close-up of like someone like doing something and all of a sudden they're like, oh! And then they figure it out. They like, something clicks and they have this Im very important piece of information that then the whole plot hinges on. That's the first thing you thought of when he said movies? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to be able to do that. Which You'd like to be able to do what? <laughs> <laughs> figure stuff out? <laughs> <laughs> I'd, be, I'd, like to, I'd like to be able to figure stuff out. <laughs> <laughs> if I no, could, it's more specific I, than that. If I could have one, I mean, I can figure things out. If I could out. have one ability, it would be <laughs> finally figure things out. No, I'm saying I can figure stuff out. I'm saying very specifically, I would like to be able to dramatically figure dramatically things out. Dramatically realize things that. So other people could that, tell, tell that you were getting it. The entire world that oh. I'm operating in hinges on that realization. That's, that's pretty non specific. All right. Well, then I have another answer. Okay. Um, we'll save it for later. <laughs> that ain't going to happen. <laughs> uh, this is an equally horrible answer, probably. Okay. I would like to be able to look at my leftovers and then pick the perfect size Tupperware <laughs> so that it all can fit perfectly in my fridge. Like, 
Nothing irks mm. me more than when I, I'm looking at these leftovers and I grab a Tupperware and then I start shoveling it in there and then I realize that there's too much and I can't get the lid on it. Mm. Yep. I and think so that's I'm like, a really good answer. I really like that link. Perfect. I'm being honest, it's really good. Perfect leftover Tupperware. Are we applauding it? Can we applaud that? Well, the principle, the principle at applause. play <laughs> is, because I've run into this same thing, the principle at play is that... Save it for next time. <laughs> you, you, you have to, you have to, because you don't have to have a superpower in order to do this. You, uh, have you ever done it? I do this all the time. No, you don't. No, I put he's stuff... Red's trying to say he's got my superpower. No, I'm just saying that there's a principle at play, and that is you can almost always, in my experience, fit more than you think you can. Like yeah. even like a yeah. large like pot of something that's like that thin will fit into something that's that big around and that tall. So you should very rarely, I mean, you're really underestimating if you're getting to a place where you've got over overflow. Is that happening on a regular basis or do you more <laughs> often have extra room? I can't, I can't abide by extra room. I think you just need to relax your standards a little bit, and you won't need the superpower. If I did that, I'd be you. Wait, guys, guys. Yeah. This is, it's not a superpower, though. I want to be clear. Putting leftovers in the right You got everybody container. to clap for it. <laughs> you were on my side. You have to choose a side, and you already have. Okay. I'm, Don't switch. Fine. Also, they could just invent stretchy Tupperware, and this would probably be solved. Oh, shoot. We sh you shouldn't have said that out loud. <laughs> Stretchy that's Tupperware. Like, that's like a, a bag. No, no, no. <laughs> no, 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 it's not. It's stretchy Tupperware. It's, 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 it's got a firmness to it, and it stacks, and it stacks inside of each other when it's not stretched. But then when you put something inside it, it expands a little bit. Like, that's how you solve this problem. Okay. Um, I might get in trouble. Not a bag. Yes but I hope I won't get in trouble for this. Does that make me not get in trouble when I do this now? It's like saying no offense after something. Sure, go for it. Yeah. <clears throat> At Chef Jess, one, two, three, four. Stevie, what are the chances of getting a photo with the three of you as you play a pivotal role? I just wanted to read that part. Uh, oh, the chances are high Jeff, if Jeff, Jess is, is here. Because let's get a photo. Am Come on up, Chef Jess. Oh yeah. She's the first of every single person in here getting a photo. I don't, I don't know, Jess. If you can't find your way up here, you, it's, it's, it's ah, open. Jenna, Bonk. thank you for not getting me in trouble. <laughs> Jess, all the way from Australia. Very active member of the community. Mythical society member, mythical beast. I like this intro. I'm just going to keep saying Hi. things. Nice to what are we you. supposed to do? We're getting a picture together. Where should we get it? I've got a good selfie arm. What would be the best photo? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Sorry. All right, stand up here. That way we can be tiered. Tiered? <laughs> okay. I would sit there, but it would be a bit awkward. So how, how do I get the... the Awkward's not bad. Turn it around. All right, I'll do it like this then. I'll keep Perfect. my legs closed like my wife told me. You want a mic in it? Oh, look at that. Oh, 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 look, I can get this in the back, too. <laughs> oh, we're in the picture twice. Link, oh raise up a little bit. <laughs> there you go. Yes! <laughs> All right. There was actually eight people in the picture. Yeah. Technology. Okay. That's what that, you. That, that, that's what that's you get that. for spending all that dough on plane tickets. I mean, she flies all over the place. Oh, oh, got it. Uh, okay. At underscore Harper. Harper. Says, Harper, but Per is like a cat. Oh yeah. If the person you loved most in the world came up to you right now and said. I got a boat and I'm leaving tomorrow. Will you drop everything and run away with me? What would you say and why? Well, that would be my wife. Uh, I'd be like, you figure out how to <laughs> operate a boat? <laughs> because uh, I don't know how to. 
Are we Way to try to save that condescending response. Are we bringing along a captain? And then you go with the captain? Are you saying there's contingencies? You getting on the boat. You need a captain. If I felt that boat. it would be safe, because I, I have always dreamt of sailing around the world and just l leaving it all behind. But Was I'm, this your question? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, I am Harper. <laughs> Yeah, that's me, Harper. <laughs> you would jump at the chance, seriously, because that's like you're saying, that's your dream. I've read so several books Jesse about So if Jesse was this. like, "Yeah, I'm in," I ba basically that's that would be the message to you because you do talk about this. This is like a running thing where you talk about sa just leaving it all in sailing. So if she approached you, you know, and she was like, "All right, I'm 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 in. I finally caved to all of your banter about sailing," it would be a no-brainer for you. That'd be like a dream come true, or would it? Uh, well, I mean, I think my wife and I being in a space that small oh. for an extended period of time, we both know that we would need a break from each other. I, this applies to anyone on Earth when it comes to me. Um, yeah, say that if it makes you feel better about your relationship. And so we might need two boats. <laughs> <laughs> wow. No, you know what we need? We need a catamaran, and we can go on each side. I... I and you and know then what? We can meet in the net in the middle, you know. That's a catamaran is one boat <laughs> with two holes. Right. The holes are separate. There's a cabin in each one. You're saying hole. Oh. Got it. Hole. <laughs> hole. H U L L. Hole. There's a hole on each one. That's the beauty of the catamaran. Can we more unpack it's a more stable sailing experience? Can we unpack the? Of course, if you flip it, you're in trouble. The meat in this answer that we need to go back to, that I, um, you know, I applaud you for, for unapologetically giving this answer, but I think some people may take it as, oh, isn't Jesse going to be upset when she finds out that Rhett said that he would love to sail around the world, but he would have to put her in a separate boat? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> um, but maybe not. Maybe this is maybe this is a mature approach to relationships. We're you in the same boat, but we have the ability to retreat to a different side of the, she would want this. It's she not, would want it's it. not that yeah. I just want it. Yeah, I wanted to she clarify, would she wouldn't this. be offended by this answer. No. Because she, she more than you probably doesn't want to be with you all the time. She's been married to me for almost 18 years. Right. So she understands this. I too understand this. Yeah. You think you want to be on a boat with your wife? Yeah, are you taking the exact same answer? I'm just making this it? about me and you <laughs> because. Oh. I would need three holes. If it was me and you, <laughs> there would be one hole in the middle that was just a, bu a buffer. <laughs> no, I, but in serious, seriousness. In all seriousness. I would probably need, I mean, I'm not saying that uh, I love you most. I love I my wife gonna, most. Yeah, Good. I love that. Jade second most. Good. I love my kids third, fourth, and fifth most. In that I order. Love, I love. Um, Your grandmas. You, uh, well, yeah. And then, um, so all my grandparents. Well, you skipped your mom and your dad. And then my mom. <laughs> I'll throw her in at this point. And her husband. I mean, he's, he calls you his son-in-law, but you're his stepson. But not really because they got married when you were already married. Right. And then there's probably a few fans that are pretty dedicated. Right. And then um, um, it's Stevie. Yeah, yeah, you're just trying to get to me, but you <laughs> need a lot of people. Much I got And you. It's fine. And, um, and me. And you. Right. But if... But if um, if we were on a boat together, I think I would be the one who'd be like, oh, I need a little more space. I'm more of the space guy than you. To your credit. True, true. I mean, there's no, there's, 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 there's no right or wrong answer here. <laughs> but back I'm just to saying, the original I need question, more space. would you drop everything and get on a boat? <clears throat> I don't like boats that okay. much. <laughs> <laughs> if Christy wanted to get on a boat, I'd be like, what? Did somebody switch medications or something? What, what's, where is this answer coming from? Is the fog new? I'm just noticing the fog. I requested it. Okay. Because <laughs> we were I, talking about boats and they I were I said like about 38 minutes in if you could uh, bring in the fog. <laughs> cool. One um, time um, Christy was taking some sort of, it was like a stomach medication, but it was a prescription for something. And then um, it was Thanksgiving. This was many years ago. And we had all our family over at our house back in North Carolina. This is a houseboat? And no. Okay. Um, it was just a house house. Okay. 
And she started acting really weird. And it was like, you know, you're taking, like, something for your stomach. It's not, even if it is prescription, it wasn't that big of a deal. I don't remember what she ha why she had to take it, but it wasn't a big deal. But then she started acting really weird, and she couldn't stay up. It was like when she was pregnant, and she, she was getting nauseous. I think that's what it was. And th thanks for remembering the, the important details in my life for me. Yeah. <coughs> She had to go upstairs and lay out, and she was gone for like four hours. She missed the whole Thanksgiving because they gave her the wrong medicine. You got to check your medicine. You got to. That's why they say to look at the. They have pictures of the pills, so you don't take the wrong one. I'm just just how trying to into a yeah, PSA. How do we get here? Is it going to come back around to the boat or something? No, I'm just trying to. I'm trying to make a difference. <laughs> if you you know if you if if you have a doctor prescribe something, just make sure that it is the right thing before you swallow it. She's fine. And she can still see with both eyes, just like my grandma. <laughs> but um, it's important, you know? It was, it's kind of freaky when you take the wrong medication. <laughs> kind of freaky, man. Yeah. It'll um, make you want to, like, oh. drop everything and go on a boat. That's, right. what, I, that's what I was Got accessing when it. I said that. I was Got like, it. what, did, some, did they switch your medication? And I felt the need to clarify that statement. Got Thank it. you for that. At a mythical German says, if you weren't making videos, oh, hello. There she is. Hi. Uh, if you weren't making videos together, but you were separate YouTubers, what genre of videos would you be creating? Peeling videos. <laughs> Just only peeling things. Yeah. We were practicing for our show uh, yesterday morning in my hotel room. And of course, you know, Rhett's like playing the guitar and I'm sitting over here just, you know, just singing and we're just having a ball. And we, we played a couple of songs and then I, I was like, okay, we should practice this one. We don't have this one down. And then he's, and I look up and Rhett's like, he's like the pick guard on his guitar. All of a sudden I realize he's, he's like, oh, I didn't realize this was here. He's had this guitar for how long? Less than a year. <laughs> Let's just say a year for the sake of a the year. story. So, oh, so he, he starts peeling off the pick guard. I'm like, whoa, wait. I got to put this on my Instagram. Shout out to my Instagram, Link Lamont. <laughs> yeah, but. We but I'm that. And then he, he whoo, it was off. And I'm like, dude, you can't do that to me. You can't peel something. But we're supposed to be satisfied by just witnessing it. I only saw the second half of it. You weren't like, hey, man, <laughs> you'll never believe this, but there's a thing here that I didn't realize I could peel, and I know you're really into that, so would you like to do it? Or You mean I just started doing it? You just were like, ooh. Oh, I thought you said that Rhett said that. I was like, that is so kind. No, I didn't say that. He I did. I started <laughs> peeling it. I saw that. Oh, it's By the cold. time I looked up, it was. I heard the sound. I was like, oh, what's that sound? <laughs> and I looked over there, and it was off. He just had it dangling in his hand. And I was like, no! Rhett? Uh, I would have a YouTube channel where I applied uh, plastic shrink wrap to different <laughs> things. Oh. Uh, it was, and so everyone would have to watch my videos before they watched yours. <laughs> 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 so you want to see this refrigerator receive the plastic? Go to Rhett's channel. <laughs> um, okay. Shrink wrap. Shrink wrap. The shrink wrapper. And I would wrap. At Cap Thor Iron Bat. Okay. Have you ever had, quote, friend breakups throughout the time you've known each other? Hmm. Ooh. I don't think we've ever had, like, a like an official breakup. But yeah, that, that implies that, like, we went time without speaking to each other or, like, what, what, a, a, a breakup is how long in your mind? Mm, how I, don't, I don't think a breakup is, a breakup is of any of any length, specified length, I think it's just, it's more official, it's like an acknowledgement. I think what has happened to, and not recently, but when we were in school, there was a few times where I would get uh, a girlfriend, <laughs> and uh, and then that was, she was, she was my friend. <laughs> she was my only friend. <laughs> it's, it's totally true. <laughs> for, you know, for a while. So then Rhett and I would break up. Or Link would just, you would just see me a lot less. That happened with... Um, Jamie? Yeah, but then the weird thing is, is that after I broke, and that was only like a month. I dated her for a month, so. And then 
after I broke up with Jamie. You dated her like six months. No, a month. It felt like six months, though. Am I right, Link? <laughs> <laughs> was it really that difficult for you? It was only a month. It was the first month of our, yeah, of our freshman year, and then. That's why the FLL dance was that fall. We, we, we haven't even made it out of the fall yet. Oh, yeah. And then... Uh, she, you broke you she, broke up with her. She shows up at the dance. And then she's, like, dancing with you. Yeah. <laughs> and you danced with her all night. Well, yeah, it takes two people to dance. <laughs> to tango. We did not tango. I didn't know what... It, I, you didn't know uh, how to tango. I didn't know how. We wouldn't even have known what that was. Jamie and I discussed it. We're like, do you know how to tango? I was like, no. I was like, me neither. <laughs> Over the past six months, I've learned how to tango. Now I'm ready for it. <laughs> yeah. No, but I'm a freshman in high school. I know how to tango. <laughs> what shoe do you put on first? Left, right, or do you leave your shoes tied and slip them on and off? Or do you untie the shoes every time you take them off? I want to hear your answer, because you probably have a system. Well, I don't think we have 20 minutes. <laughs> well, let me, actually, let me guess, because you know, my answer is, I don't, there's, I ne definitely don't. Who just, gives an expletive? Which, which is one your answer, is I closer think. to me is the shoe that goes on first? Like, which one I grab first? Like, oh, that's yeah. the right shoe, right foot. Uh, and I actually tied these shoes this morning, because they're low tops. I don't tie high tops, you may have noticed. Um, there was a question that was like, why are your shoes always untied? And I was like, I never noticed that. Well, if you've got a pair of high tops, just go a day without tying them, and you'll be like, oh, you don't have to tie them. You'll never tie them again. <laughs> um, I don't believe that you have a, that, that your system is specific to shoes. I, 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 you're so specific about things, but I, I can't think of a logical reason why one shoe would be before the other, and so therefore I don't believe that you actually pick one shoe before the other. Am I right? For the first time ever, you are right. Yes. <laughs> no, but... Mm -mm. <laughs> but... I mean, it seems that I need to form a system now. So I'll, I will be working on it. I take this as a personal challenge to figure out which foot... And for me, you know, what's right for me is not right for everyone. But I take it as a personal challenge to, to, uh, to parse that, to sort it. Do any of you, because you don't do this, but do any of you have a right sock and a left sock specifically that you keep up with? There's no way. Okay, because I watched like a, some, like one of those news programs where there was a bunch, they were profiling a bunch of different crazy people. And one person was, uh, it was a guy marked his socks right and left and got very upset when his wife did not keep the pairs exactly the same because he said he's because even though socks don't come as right and left so he cares enough to mark his socks but then his wife does his laundry for him exactly I, I don't like yeah, this. yeah still makes I her do this. it i hate this i hate everything uh, about yeah. this and he says that there's a difference in the feel but that just you know it's i don't it's like that, that day of the week underwear like who then then it just okay the last question if you two woke up as each other one day, what would be the first thing you'd each do? And I think this is not the first time I've asked this, but I don't know if your answer has changed since whenever the last time was that I asked this, so I'm curious. Body switch, body swap, you wake up, Freaky Friday. Freaky Friday. Hmm. I would, um I would go to the grocery store. I would buy olives, <laughs> tomatoes, <laughs> licorice, <coughs> and another, you know, an assortment of things. Sushi. Yeah, and then I would, I'm not trying to punish you. <clears throat> I would eat them to know what your experience is, so I could understand, so I could empathize with you, and or I could tell you it's all in your mind, and I would definitively know the answer. That's what I would do. So you don't think you would be gross? You you don't you you would? No, I think I would be, but I think I would understand where I would be like, oh, this tastes this tastes awful, or I would be like. 
this seems awful. Or, I, you know what I'm saying? I'd be able to somehow, under, I just want to understand. And I would also have some sort of muffling device installed on my jaw. <laughs> <laughs> not muffling <laughs> a jaw muffler. Not just. <laughs> you have a jaw muffler. Some, I would have some sort of like a chewing silicone installed in the. He says that I chew loudly. So that it's, I don't. Soft, I don't deny any of this. the sound. That's that's what I would do. I don't know if that's a possibility. I don't know if that technology exists. You walk a mile in my shoes, man. I like it. Yeah. I like it. I like it. What would you do, Link? Uh. I would get up in the morning, because it would be morning, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's what you said? And uh, I'd go over to my house, and I'd dust the high things. <laughs> there's, nothing, there's nothing like knowing that there's no dust up there. It's like I just walk around, and I'm, there's dust up there. You know, you get a, an old TV, you could just stand on top of that oh. <laughs> and uh, get to all the same places. Okay, we have six seconds. I'm just staring at it, countdown, but I think that's, that's all for Thank us. you, Stevie, for thank asking all these guys. questions. And thank you guys. And thank you guys for listening to all of our answers. Yeah. Yes. I'm standing now. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Enjoy the rest of your VidCon. We'll see some of you at the meet and greet in a little bit. Thank you for being your mythical best. <laughs>